And hey, this is Sean here and wanted to give you an update on what we've been working on. So we've been working hard on mating the Tesla motor to the transmission. And uh, it's really difficult because the Tesla motor has a 30 spline and the transmission has a 10 spline. So we have to build an adapter. So first we spent $800 on aluminum and started cutting the aluminum. We began with a two inch piece of aluminum to try to cut the parts, but to be honest with you, after hours and hours of cutting, I gave up and I went and used half inch plate. The idea is, is to build some spacers between the Tesla motor and the transmission. Now, while I was working on this, Pat had decided to mock it up himself utilizing plastic cutting boards. This gave us a really clear representation of what we were trying to build and helped us really get an idea on how to make this all fit and work together and where the problems are. So this is what was built out of plastic. Okay. Is, so that plate has to go there. There has to be this, there will be a, a shaft on here that attaches these splines to these splines. Okay. But then this is what will attach the whole thing to each other. Okay. The gentleman we're speaking to is Richard. This, He's a machinist. This, mm -hmm. So essentially, so then, then oh, okay, that's what you're talking about. Yeah. You just can't get these round, but you're trying to make it look like this one. Well, well it doesn't have to be round for now. For now. We'll, just, when we go to make the product, we'll make the product round, okay. right? But, so essentially you sit kind of like this, because it's got to be, because it'll sit, like once it's on here, it'll sit like this. So oh, okay. it'll clearance these, okay. right? And so, the size and everything is good, what you guys came up with. Well, it's just thick enough that we have Area, like we could even cut it down. It just has to have enough area for the meat for the bolts. Okay, that for the where they line. Yeah. Like this. Okay. And then this essentially goes here, like this, right? Okay. So you, we got to cut a hole for gotcha. the coolant here. Got to cut a hole for these wires to pop through. Um, nice. And then we got to build this this cover piece here. So, so that's that. See so yep. this part touches that. Yep. Okay. Just like what you have here, that, this can be built out of three separate pieces, right? Yeah. Bracket, this, basically a big machine cylinder, obviously way thicker so you can run the bolts through it, and then this, those three pieces can be done separately, and then we can run the bolts through that. But this, if you build them separately, these three, we can weld them together. Yeah, yeah, it'll be a lot better. It'll be a lot easier than trying to machine. There's no way like you can machine like you, that like they do out of one of piece. Other pieces, yeah. But machining this out of, that's simple. Yeah. Machining this, that's more expensive, but still simple. Yeah. This, more expensive, but still simple. So you cut it into three separate components mm -hmm. and weld them together, and you're done. Yeah. After meeting with Richard, I realized that the plate that I made wasn't going to be large enough for the bolts to the Tesla motor. I also needed to figure out a way to reduce the tolerances. So back to the drawing board. You know what we should do, because the trouble I'm having right now is lining these holes up when I'm drilling. The holes aren't lining up. So this the hole doesn't have to line up perfectly as long as it just doesn't hit the shaft. What we should do is get that TIG welder, stack these all together, tack them together, and then go take it to somebody who has a real fucking press and go Because the key is, is that hole has to be perfect. Right. Because you can't have any flex in here. You can't have any. And you're not going to get that hole straight unless those are yeah. attached to each other. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I just gave up that day. I was just like, so like, no more giving up.
Hey guys, if you like what we're doing here, please subscribe. It encourages us to keep going. Thanks again.